Last year, my graduating class had its 60th anniversary. And just a few minutes ago, I came from the reunion dinner of the class of 50. Now, you think your classmates look old when they're around you now. Wait for 20 more years when you have your 60th anniversary. Couple expressions that tell you what it means to get old. There was a man my age walking around a pond. Frogs were jumping in and out of the pond. He knelt down to see the frogs and he heard this beautiful voice say, if you kiss me, I will turn into a beautiful young woman. And he thought, where did that come from? And he looked down and one of the frogs said, if you kiss me, I will be a beautiful young woman and I will fulfill all your desires. And he reached down and he picked up that particular frog and he put it in his pocket and he started to walk away. And from his pocket, the frog said, aren't you going to kiss me? And he said, honey, at my age, I'd rather have a talking frog. That's what it's like when you get old. A wife my age said to her husband my age, sweetheart, let's go upstairs and have sex. And her husband said, you know, I can't do both. Getting old, it's, uh, it's strange telling a joke with no one around to see expressions on their faces, but you're looking good. I don't see as many horn rim glasses as I did in your, the time when you were students. Um, hairstyles have changed a great deal, I can tell that, but you really are looking good. Um, I talked by phone with Anadora Vesper Shirk a couple weeks ago and told her I was going to do this and she said to send you all her greeting. Do you know Anadora began in, the, in September of 1946 and she taught here continuously for 51 teaching years. About two years ago, Anadora had a serious stroke and she's paralyzed on one side. But her voice is good, her mind is wonderful, her physical health is really good, and we had a great telephone conversation uh, about the years we spent together. But she said to tell you hello. And then earlier in the summer, Dale Yoder's family had a 70th birthday party for Dale. Dale had started teaching in the fall of 1966. Is that right, Dale? 66? Right. About the time some of you were freshmen. Now the great thing about the party that we went to to recognize Dale's birthday was that they had gathered a bunch of wonderful mostly retired faculty together to help celebrate. And so we saw Denny Zimmerman, who was in one of your classes, I think, and Tom Bauer Sox, and Will Rankin, and Cliff Burkett, Bill Heim, Ray Mest, Jim Moyer, and it was wonderful to see Claire Eirich, Phil Eirich's widow. Your classes helped to bring about major changes at Albright. Some of you wrote for the Albrightian and you wrote very well. You were good writers who filled the Albrightian with questions about rules and programs, about leaders, especially trustees. But you remember that stuff of the latter part of the 60s better than I, I'm sure, and you'll talk about it at this reunion. Your class helped to bring about major change. It was late in 1968. You were seniors, juniors, and sophomores. Ralph and Alan got in big trouble 
by suggesting that the Albrightian should represent the freedom of the press. And so the writers of the Albrightian ought to be able to use any words that they chose to express themselves. And they chose some well-known four-letter words to express themselves. The Albrightian, as you remember, was suspended. An attempt was made to publish an off-campus paper, but the lack of funds ended that. Do you remember how many of you were involved in the 1969 library sit-in that spring? Teach-ins had started in 1966, about the year that some of you were freshmen. Speakers came to campus and talked about all the controversial issues of the day. Ultimately, there was what we called uh, experiment in learning, was that it? Something like that. Anyhow, it was a weekend in April of 1969, and after discussions and votes and messages went back and forth, um, the group decided to stay in the library and make some requests of the college to enhance things and change some things and do away with some things. Um, you didn't accomplish everything that the library sit in, set out, but you did accomplish a lot and you changed the college a great deal for the better. Some faculty were happier than others. A lot of you did a lot of good work to follow through with those changes. Our whole society in your college era, our whole United States society in your college era had many reasons for which you should have been angry and frustrated. Blacks were second-class citizens. Class and gender discrimination as well as race prejudice was everywhere including on our campus. A war with a confused purpose was being fought far away and your era of Albright saw the injustices in our world and on our campus and felt that they could be changed and you worked hard to change them. I truly wish that some of our future generations of students could have been as sensitive to world needs and campus needs as you were. And I really want to congratulate you for the role you played during the years that you were students here. I'd like to remind you of some of the faculty who started when you were here. I can think of Jeff Woodward and Hammett Worthington Smith. You remember Charlie Presswood, Tom Brogan, Ann Myers, and you'll be able to remember a lot more. Marcus Green retired while you were here and some of you breathed a sigh of relief. The Zetas were suspended when you were here, and that was my fraternity. Even though when I was on the faculty, the members of the Zetas thought it was not a good idea to invite me to their regular meetings. But I had been a Zeta. You remember the January semester began while you were here. I had the privilege of staying at Albright until 1992, and I loved almost every class, almost every day of the 33 years that I was here. You've come to talk to each other about your memories, not about mine. Thanks very much for coming back to our college. Thanks for asking me to spend this short time with you by video. Hello to you all. Remember greetings from Anadora Shirk and have a great weekend. Thanks.